Hello, welcome to Fountain FX on Tuesday the 24th of June 2014. Um, when you look at currencies and you look at uh, price levels and price action, often you'll see that uh, the price trends, and uh, but then there's also other times when it consolidates, or in other words, it becomes range-bound. Now, in terms of the st statistics, they reckon that 30% of the time, currencies are trending as in they're moving up in a nice zigzag pattern but creating higher highs and higher lows or they're moving down in a zigzag pattern creating lower highs and lower lows and that's only 30 percent of the time 70 percent of the time they reckon they are range brown that is they are either being squashed um, in a triangular pattern as we can see here or they are in a channel pattern moving sideways so if we look here we can see that on the euro US dollar on the one hour chart that going back to a month ago roughly uh, if, no it wasn't a month ago I tell a lie um, it was a couple of weeks ago 16th of June price was down here at the 135.22 uh, and it moved up from there it created an area of resistance it found an area of resistance where it couldn't get through it touched once twice three times finally broke through I think this was news that caused a bit of the volatility to push higher and then basically what's happened is you can see here it's turned that area of resistance as was into an area of support so now it's a great area to buy from and we can see prices pushed up there then it pushed up again and if we draw the trend lines as we've done here along the bottom and along the top we can see that there was a um, an equal actual triangle forming okay and finally what's happened is price has broken out from that um, trend line, the, the uh, declining resistance line at the, at the top and as soon as it breaks out, when it does break out, it breaks out with force if we look down here, this small spinning top was at 8 o'clock this morning on the one hour charts, this is 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and this particular candlestick that's forming is being formed up to 11 o'clock today but as you can see that at the breakout where the breakout occurred price came back down to it and then rallied from it so a buy at the 135.96 would have given very little um, risk in terms of how much price came against you um, to have taken price all the way up and now we're at the 136.22 area so it's quite easy there you go we're looking at around about 20 25 points of profit and um, so that's pretty good there in terms of that trade but as you can see here you can identify areas of support and areas of resistance and I think that's probably the easiest way in which to trade and keep your trading simple is to look at use trend lines use horizontal trend lines support and resistance use the diagonal trend lines to show that uh, the lows are getting higher or the highs are getting lower for example and therefore you can identify where the bigger picture or the bigger move in price is happening and not necessarily trying to get caught in the smaller moves and getting caught either side of the market. The other thing to note is look for currencies that um, don't have such a large spread. Um, otherwise if you do have a currency that has a larger spread then you have to trade it on the larger picture. You cannot be day trading currencies that have got 30 or 300 point spreads because um, the slightest move against you and suddenly you're, you're losing a lot of money you have to have the market go very much in your favor before you can take any profit so those kind of currencies will be the ones where you can see there's a big range bound and it seems to be quite consi consistent in terms of support and resistance as to where to get in and get out and you can therefore look at the fact that maybe there's a 2000 point move so if I'm risking 100 points on my spread then I'm happy to accept that kind of risk that's involved in it. So be aware of all those different facets. So if you are struggling in, with your trading in terms of trying to make it consistent, that's no problem. Keep looking at the blog. I'll try and make, my purpose is to try and make trading as simple as possible so that you're not always um, trying to chase the market or see things that aren't there. And if I can do that for you guys, then hopefully we'll help uh, to make people better and better traders and then you can start to make profit from this market so anyway that's trading 101 from fountain fx today happy trading and uh, we will be in touch tomorrow thank you very much bye bye